particular homework problem. It's called Pictures of a Chemical Reaction. And we're actually going to be using the atom or molecule interpretation of the chemical reaction. Let's read over the question. In the diagram below, the paired filled spheres represent H2, and the paired open spheres represent O2 molecules. So the paired filled spheres, spheres represent H2, and the paired open spheres represent O2. When the molecules in the box react to form the maximum possible amount of water H2O molecules, what is the limiting reactant and how many molecules of H2O can be formed? Well, in order to do that, let's get the whole picture on here. And just so you know, I've drawn in a bunch of these extra ones so that it's different than the actual problem you're going to get for your homework, but it's the same idea. In addition, there are two separate reactions here, so just pay attention to that as well. But uh, in a very real way, we are going to count up the number of O2 molecules, we're going to count up the number of H2 molecules, and we're going to see how much water we can make. Uh, or another way to do it is, uh, well, let's count them up. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got, and let's try and color code it here, nine O2 molecules. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 12, 13, 14 H2 molecules. What I can do is an exact analogy to the way in which I would do it if there was um, moles instead of molecules. I can take 14 molecules H2 and I know that for every two molecules of H2 I get two molecules of H2O and that becomes a molecule conversion factor and this is exactly analogous to if these were moles except now we're actually counting molecules we're still using the coefficients from the balanced reaction and we still cancel our units and now we still multiply and divide and if you do you'll get 14 molecules H2O. If hydrogen H2 is the limiting reactant. Now we have nine molecules O2. And we have for every one molecule O2, we form two molecules of H2O. And so now we can form 18 molecules of H2O multiplying across. And as always, the, you can make the smaller number of molecules. What that means is that we can actually make 14 molecules H2O and um, hydrogen, H2, is our limiting reactant. You can also do this just by circling them too and prove that to yourself. So for example, if I circle two hydrogens and one oxygen, I can make two H2O. If I do that again, and again, and again, see if this works out if I place them okay. Something's not right. Oh, let's see what we got here. Did I count wrong? 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sets, 14, yes. I can make 14 molecules H2O. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, and we've run out. How do I have one of these left? Two, 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 ah, that was the problem. All right, so I circled two oxygens here and only one of these. So this one is free, this one is free, and this one needs to go in this circle up here because there should be and we can calculate this too. There should be two water, there are two O2 molecules left. Because O2 is in excess. And there should be some of it left over. I, so hopefully you can see that you can use conversion factors in terms of molecules for this one. Or you can actually circle things. And if you circle them correctly, you will also get the right answer.